Hello friends, uh, today I will discuss about flame speed. Okay, so actually flame speed depends on various parameters like uh, air field ratio. Okay, so actually there are three types of air field ratios. First is lean mixture. Okay, second is stoichiometric ratio or mixture. This is uh, chemically correct mixture, and uh, third is the rich mixture. So, in the first case, the amount of air is comparatively higher as compared with the chemically correct mixture or stoichiometric mixture or ratio while in case of rich mixture the quantity of fuel will be higher than the chemically correct ratio okay so in this figure you can see this is the graph between the time in second and the mixture strength okay so here you can see uh, this is the air fuel ratio so this is 60% uh, air with fuel so this is 80% 100% and 20% and 40% 60% or 200% or in case of air fuel ratio we can say 0 0.6 0 0.8 1.0 1.2 1.4 1.6 .1 and 2.0 so this is actually air fuel ratio and it is the percentage so this graph is actually for time and mixture strength okay so in lean mixture you can see this is the lean mixture so lean mixture produces less thermal energy hence uh, the flame temperature as well as speed are low in this case okay so oxidation maybe it takes place there because of higher quantity of air okay and uh, stoichiometric is chemically correct mixture okay and uh, in rich mixture carbon monoxide will be produced okay it means there is no complete combustion of fuel okay so this is the rich mixture in which fuel is higher as compared to the fuel in the chemically correct mixture okay hence flame speed is low in this rich mixture clear so maximum flame speed occurs when the mixture is 10 percent richer than the stoichiometric ratio as high temperature is produced okay so uh, the maximum speed will be at 10 percent higher amount of fuel as compared to the stoichiometric ratio okay so we have to increase the percentage of fuel about 10 percent to get the maximum flame speed okay so next uh, parameter is the compression ratio okay so this is also affecting the flame speed and uh, with the increase of compression ratio flame speed will be increased okay so flame speed will be increased on increasing the compression ratio r because the uh, density and pressure both will be high in this situation okay and next point is intake temperature or inlet temperature if inlet temperature is increased then flame speed will also increase okay and the next point is the intake pressure if intake pressure is higher it means uh, the temperature will be increased and uh, 
increase of temperature will increase the flame speed okay due to higher density and uh, now we will talk about the fifth factor so actually uh, this engine load will be increased if engine load is increased the flame speed will also be increased okay due to increase of uh, cycle pressure and density and the uh, next point is the turbulence okay if turbulence is increased so we will get the perfect mixing of air fuel okay so flame speed will be increased due to the internal friction of heat transfer process as well as mixing of both burnt and unburnt portion of the flame front okay so this is the flame speed which is affected by these uh, parameters so now we will meet in the next video thanks for watching this video all the best